Hi, this is Stan from Composimold and we're going to show you how to make a silicone ring using a 3D printed shape. So first I'm going to put the 3D printed ring shape into a mold box. I'm using a pin to hold the shape of the ring off the ground a little bit so the composite mold can go all around the ring so it's only a simple one pour part. PVC pipe is used as the mold box with a little bit of clay on the bottom so that the composite mold doesn't run out the side of it. I spray this with a little bit of bubble buster to reduce surface tension and then I fill it up with melted composite mold. Melt the composite mold right in the microwave and then let this cool to solidify. It'll take about an hour and a half for this to cool if, and I could put it in the refrigerator to cool it faster and then I just pull it out of the mold. So now I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to cut this into a one and a half part mold so that I can get the silicone into this mold shape. And I'm going to do this by cutting on the edge of it so I can pull the ring out of it so that it's still all solid with no parting line on the surface of the, of the ring. The transparency of the composite mold makes it nice so I can see where I'm cutting without making any damage and cuts to it. And I pull it out and I'm ready to put in the silicone. I'm using a very soft silicone in a epoxy colors colorant, yellow, because I like the color yellow. This particular silicone is a food grade, food safe composite mold, so I don't really mind getting it on my hands. And I'm going to pour it into the cavity of the composite mold so it fills up that side of the ring. And then I'm going to hold this together in a moment with an elastic rubber band. Now I look around the edges to make sure the cavity of the ring has been filled up with the silicone. And then I'm going to put the elastic on it to hold it together and let it cure. This is a super fast curing resin. Takes about a silicone takes about five minutes to cure, 10 minutes total. Pull off the elastic and I'm going to pull the ring out of the composite mold mold. While I'm doing this, it's a good time to talk a little bit about the composite mold, which is a remeltable, reusable mold making material. So with this composite mold, I can make a ring shape and then I can remelt it to make another shape of something else. And I can continuously do this as many times as I want. The silicone is not, not reusable in this particular case. So it's a good casting material, but probably not as good for actual molding. And here is the ring. Because silicone, it can fit just by stretching it around to any, any finger. Very nice. Clean off the edges a little bit. And we're ready to do it. We can use this mold again to make another silicone ring or we can remelt it to make a new ring anytime we want. So here's a close up of the ring showing how much it matches the original 3D printed part. And here I am putting the ring onto my wife's finger. Isn't that nice? Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know and learn more at composimold.com. Thank you.